In the wake of Queen Elizabeth II's passing in September 2022, a new era has dawned for the British monarchy. With King Charles III now firmly seated on the throne, a seismic shift has occurred in the complex and often turbulent relationship between the royal family and Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the Windsor dynasty and the global media landscape, King Charles has taken the unprecedented step of stripping his younger son Prince Harry and his American-born wife Meghan of all their remaining royal titles, patronages, and privileges. This dramatic action represents a clear and unequivocal message from the new sovereign. The days of tolerating the Sussexes' highly public criticisms and attacks on the monarchy are over. But before we continue, please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. The tensions between the Sussexes and the royal family have been simmering for years, reaching a boiling point in the aftermath of Harry and Meghan's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. In that explosive televised tell-all, the couple made a series of incendiary accusations against the institution of the monarchy, alleging racism, mental health neglect, and a general lack of support from the firm. The fallout from that interview, and Harry and Meghan's subsequent media broadsides, have clearly taken a significant toll. King Charles, who had initially sought to present a conciliatory front and tried to maintain some semblance of family unity, has now evidently reached the end of his patience. According to the YouTuber who broke this latest royal drama in their widely viewed video, Can't Stand Anymore, Charles strikes hammer blow to Harry, strips all title, and kicks him out royal. The new monarch has decisively acted to excise the Sussexes from the royal fold once and for all. King Charles is said to have had enough of Harry and Meghan's media attacks against the royal family and has taken decisive action, the narrator explains. He has stripped Harry and Meghan of all remaining royal titles and patronages, making it clear they are no longer working royals. This unprecedented move means that Harry and Meghan can no longer use their Sussex royal brand or carry out any official duties on behalf of the crown. They have also lost any remaining military appointments and associations with royal charities, a particularly bitter blow for Harry, a former army officer who has long championed veteran and mental health causes. This is seen as a major blow for Harry, who is now effectively exiled from the royal family and all privileges that come with being a prince. They have also lost any remaining military appointments and associations with royal charities. In the eyes of many royal observers, this dramatic severing of ties marks the end of an era and a clear repudiation of Harry and Meghan's ongoing efforts to carve out a parallel royal narrative apart from the Windsor dynasty. The couple's high-profile relocation to California, lucrative media deals, and continuing barrage of criticism towards the monarchy have evidently pushed King Charles to the breaking point. This move by King Charles marks a clear break from the past and signals he will not tolerate any further criticism of the monarchy from Harry and Meghan. The implications of this royal schism are far-reaching, not only for Harry and Meghan, but also for the future of the House of Windsor. With the Sussexes now firmly outside the royal fold, questions linger about their standing, security arrangements, and ability to maintain their global profile and influence. Moreover, this dramatic fallout has reignited debates about the role of the monarchy in modern Britain, the treatment of royal outsiders, and the delicate balance between tradition, protocol, and the evolving sensibilities of the 21st century. As the dust settles on this latest royal drama, one thing is clear. King Charles has drawn a firm line in the sand. The days of allowing the Sussexes to freely criticize and undermine the institution of the monarchy appear to be over. The new king has flexed his muscles, delivering a powerful message to his errant son and daughter-in-law. The crown's patience has been exhausted, and the time has come to face the consequences of their actions. Whether this hardline approach will ultimately heal the rift within the royal family or further exacerbate the tensions remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the relationship between the Windsors and the Sussexes has reached a pivotal and irreversible juncture, with King Charles firmly in control of the narrative and the future of the monarchy. As the world watches with bated breath, the saga of the House of Windsor continues to unfold in dramatic and unpredictable ways. The question now is, what will the next chapter hold for this most regal of families, and how will the reverberations of this latest royal feud be felt for years to come?